All right. Hello, everyone. This is Group Two's uh, senior design project for Tripoli 192-3B. Uh, so our project was expanding communication to BART's legacy traction sites. We partnered up with BART on this project. Uh, group members Mauricio Duval, Kevin Duong, Brandon Azevedo, and me, Christian Morales Gomez. So as a brief overview of uh, our entire project, we started last semester. Uh, this BART project required two teams, the assets team and us, the communications team. So in our work last semester, we made a couple of assumptions. Uh, one of them was that we were limited or we had no fiber capabilities at these sites. Another one was that we did not want to touch SCADA at all. There were a lot of operational and security aspects to SCADA systems that we did not want to touch. Uh, and overall, our aim was to establish communications for asset maintenance, uh, emphasis on the maintenance. This would allow for more efficient use of technician time and resources hopefully expand asset life and allow for some remote diagnostic diagnostic capabilities. Again, aiming for that, uh, that maintenance aspect of communications. So for this semester, uh, we were kept pretty busy. We conducted a site survey to gather more information, uh, specifically on the existing infrastructure it was very important that we try to reduce costs since BART is a public agency. Uh, so we wanted to use whatever was already out there. Uh, we gained some points of contact, specifically Alex Warnley from, the, from BART's Power Traction Department and Michael McCorkmick. Uh, he helped us out uh, with BART's communication system. Uh, along the way, we had some ideas we looked into, among them wireless transmission, fiber optic transmission, and an interesting one, transmitting through the rails themselves. Uh, uh, over the semester, we were going back and forth uh, through meetings uh, until we finally altered our original project into something that would expand the existing SCADA system into incorporating maintenance data. Uh, although we initially tried to avoid touching the SCADA system, we ended up uh, expanding on it instead. Uh, and now I will uh, send it over to, or hand it off to Kevin. He'll tell you guys about our site visit. All right, hello everyone. Uh, so, so to get a clear scope for uh, our project, we went to Bart's base in uh, Oakland in late February. Um, we were trying to figure out whether it was uh, we could use uh, package data or is it going to be uh, real time data, which uh, we found out was uh, real time data. Uh, we were uh, we managed to visit uh, one of the forty. Uh, plus substations that uh, required an upgrade uh, to like view the issues with them, such as their inability to transmit uh, specific area data whenever a problem occurred. Um, we also uh, got a scope where we required a solution as a placeholder to uh, be able to transmit the specific data from these old legacy uh, stations to headquarters and we also got to visit one of the new newer substations that are implemented with the newest technology such as the enunciator panel and the real-time monitoring system as a reference for uh, future implementation once uh, BART finally has enough budget to uh, transition and now I will uh, hand it off to uh, Brandon for uh, the current system and the planned future. 
So BART's current system and planned future looks like their legacy and new power traction stations are both uh, designed with two transformers there. Um, they're mirror images of, of each other on both sides with the transformers, um, the different breakers and shunts that are there, um, as well as the, uh, the uh, temperature gauges and sudden pressure gauges for the transformers. Uh, the SCADA system exists uh, at all of the stations. The biggest difference is that the new tra traction power stations have a PLC that's able to distinguish the difference between the different things that get tripped in that system. The old legacy stations output, uh, regardless of whatever input is tripped, equipment failure one. Uh, their railroad is also not continuous. Um, it's sectioned out near the passenger stations to allow for communication with the local train control room. The train control room also contains an access point to the rest of BART's communication network, a key discovery that we found to one of our solutions. And the portion of the planned future for their system is a trunk fiber that's being built throughout the entire system that's gonna eventually have little spurs that come out of the uh, the trunk fiber at uh, various points, specifically the traction power stations. Some of the observed issues that we noticed right away was how do we figure out the issue with the equipment failure one output of the SCADA system? How do we distinguish what thing failed and the severity of the issue? The SCADA system was all in parallel, all wired in parallel, and it didn't allow for running a PLC to them. And also there was no usable fiber at that time because that project is estimated at about another four years of completion to be able to use. The railroad also not being continuous eliminated our initial idea of using the railway as a direct medium to, send, to use for communication to send back to headquarters. This project to resolder the entire railroad after the fiber was built is scheduled probably to take another five years afterwards. So we're looking at about nine years into the future before that would be a possibility. Moving forward, Mauricio is gonna talk about some of the uh, proposed solutions that we had. Um, and finally, which one was actually, which we believe will be successful. All right, so throughout our uh, project, we were coming up with some ideas and we were thinking of using a power line carrier on the railroad as a return medium, uh, basically sending it through the power lines. Um, but that brought up some problems because there is interference throughout that and we need an amplifier through the um, certain power, uh, certain uh, lengths uh, to keep the signal. Um, the wireless communication was another idea that we came up with, although it's not effective since there is some uh, important information on those um, transmissions so it would be a security issue um another one of our ideas was uh tapping into the SCADA system and sending multiplexed information with fiber um we also uh we viewed as a cheaper workaround from the plcs installed at new stations um now what we believe will work the best would be using an ibridge um which is a power line carrier to the train control room instead of down the railway. So the iBridge would, um, would be connected and cross the railway into the um, other, the train control room. And from there we can send that, uh, that data to headquarters that way. And uh, we were given that, that idea by dynamic ratings. And, uh, for our conclusion, uh, we recognize that we have done as much as we can for the remaining of the semester. Um, the, uh, what's left is really between dynamic ratings and BART. Um, if in the future they do need our help or Professor Mearns, we're all willing and helping, uh, ready to help. Um, yeah, if they need help with budgeting or something like that. Thank you.